Howdy y'all, this is your boy Beastamon. And I am playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And currently we are sitting right in front of some lower city apartments. And <sighs> we're gonna see what's in here and what other tasks we can do. Um, because eventually we are gonna have to um, go to Hidden Back Base. So let's see what's behind door number one. Oh wait, Karth has to open this. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so this is the uh, Twi'lek guy I was talking about. We have to help him. So you could be stupid here and say I'm here to rob the place. Well, it's not really stupid, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, or you could just be mean and uh, say you're going to collect a bounty on his head. But I'm going to ask him, uh, like, what is he doing in here and stuff. Ooh, you're dark. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, I just read this persuade line as... Um, Okay, I just read the persuade line. It's one of those dudes trying. Let's be honest. Some dudes they try to talk their way to, um, you know, a girl's pants, right? I, I I'm just reading this like a soap opera. Are you in some sort of trouble? You, you want to talk about it? And then like all of a sudden she just starts crying her eyes out, and then she starts talk about it. I don't know. It sounds like some kind of cheesy line or something. So yeah, unfortunately, um. Hold up. I'm gonna save here just in case something happens. So yeah, um, I'm playing this game, uh, kind of the opposite of the way I would normally play it. So yeah, um, trying to get rid of Davik is like trying to get rid of like a mafia boss at this point. So, maybe you could pay him off. Well, maybe you can fake your own death. Okay, so I really have a permanent uh, uh, permacrete detonator right here, but I kind of want to look around his room and take stuff before I, uh, you know, because we're going to need this stuff. <laughs> but if you read the conversation, well, you might have had to pause to do it because I'm going through the conversation somewhat fast. Um, he's going to blow this room up to fake his own death. So... And the good thing about doing it this way is not only do you not have to kill him, but we should be able to get the bounty. So it's like, why get your hands messy if you don't have to? Yeah, I love how Karth is already standing outside. Yeah, as soon as he heard the word permacrete, he said, no. Nope. Yeah, so you get light side points for that. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to walk in here if we wanted to. He said don't walk in here because, you know, it could cave in on your head. There really isn't a point to uh, do that. So let's keep it uh Oh, I killed one of them. Okay, good. Well, good. Usually when I um, go in these apartments, I try to find a way. Um, there are small instances where you... Oh, God. Um. Okay, this is probably the first time in the game I'm going to have to save and then reload and save and then reload. 
But there is a puzzle here, and I'm terrible at these, like, at certain... Well, the first game was really awful, um, as far as, um, puzzles. So, um, anyway, I'm terrible at these puzzles. It's like one of these things where you have to read the story very carefully. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a story about a Twisted Ranker Trio, and you can only make one mistake. And if you're not careful, um, chances are you will die. Which is really effed up, but they want to make sure you don't stick your hand in a cookie jar, so to say, without, you know. Yeah, so this story is kind of like a password. It's like a built-in password. You have to read the story. So I'm just going to skim through it really slowly. So you viewers out there can read it. Okay, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to, um, because this is a very long story. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm saving because I know I'm gonna mess up, but I really need the items inside here. So yeah, this is one of those parts of the game where I would do a little cheating. A little of a lot of cheating. <laughs> so really it's not a little, it's a lot of cheating. Let me see, um, so yeah, pretty much it's gonna tell you what you have to do when you try to open up the crate. So yeah, you have to activate it in the correct order, or boom. So yeah, pretty much it warns you what's going to happen. And oh yeah, I can't do that because uh oh yeah, I can. Okay. So I'm gonna have cars down here in case I make a mistake because um yeah, the blast is so close that um you know. My character might die, and I need Karth just to be there, just in case, you know, some enemies come up on me or something. So, yeah, you have to stand next to these and highlight them in the correct order. And I am not good at this at all. Um, don't even remember how to do this. And they warn you, um, if you do this wrong, they will warn you. Yeah, so they warn you. Okay, that was wrong. So, that's pretty much how it works, so... This is really what happens. And you blow up and... Okay, how did Karth get hurt? Wait, where is he? Oh, shoot, is he fighting someone? Yeah, I think Karth is fighting someone. Oh, no, he's standing outside like an idiot. Okay, so yeah. Um... So, yeah, if you did not read, um... Here we go again. If if you did not read an intro vid, um, yeah, I'm not one of those uh, people that do LPs to do it 100%. I mean, that's like the main part of, you know, what I'm trying to do, but I don't always do it, but at least I'll try to show you like every, you know, mode in, in a certain game. But this game is one long story, so I'm showing you the story. Or let's note it otherwise, like the last project where I said I'm just doing it half-baked. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they let you know it's not correct. And of course I messed up again. So this is probably a game over right Oh wait, no it's not. Okay. Surprisingly it's not. So yeah, this will take me a few tries. And if worse comes to worse, I will just edit out all the mistakes. Because I don't remember how to do this. I remember she's the first one though. That's all I remember. <laughs> um... Let me see. Crap, I don't remember if she's last or not. Wait, is that the only one left or is there another one? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it pretty much opens up when you click it. Uh, okay, you just get fiber armor and some credits. 
And yeah, the fiber armor is a little bit stronger than um the combat suit, so I'm going to replace it. Oh yeah, let me say that too, because I don't feel like doing that again. Apartment door. Okay, we got some... I don't want to say high class, but we got some high ranking Volker members. Apparently they're not that high ranking though. Oh wait, we got a gang boss. Okay, I was okay, I was right. We got a gang boss. Yeah, so if you're if you're um a good Samaritan, don't expect to have a lot of money in this game. What I mean is pretty much um being a nice light type person, you will be broke. So just keep that in mind. That's why, you know, that's another reason why I have to scramble, you know, to do all these extra favors and stuff. Well, these extra quests, as they're called. Don't like using the word favors in that context because, well, anyone who's above, you know, a certain age know what favors mean. As far as saying you're doing favors for people. So, yeah, I know I'm using a repair spikes and I don't have enough to do all this, but I like to use them anyways. Um, I don't know, I just like to use them anyways. Yeah, the way I did that was terrible because it's not going to patrol around, but it's fine. Mainly, I just did that for the experience points. Not because I actually need that droid. Because honestly, um, I'm doing the opposite of um, how I normally play this game. Just to see if it will make a giant difference. Um, and with your companions, it doesn't matter whether you level up, level them up or not. Um, usually I auto level them up because I don't have any preference of how they do. Because, you know, the game's most likely customizing them. I mean, you can if you want to customize them, but... I mean, I just don't, you know, I, for some reason I don't see the point. Now, if it was me on the other hand, yeah, I want to customize myself. I don't want the game to do it because they're always going to pick a certain preference over the one you, you might pick. They might pick your, uh, the preference of the class, and I may want to be a little bit different. So, yeah, for example, I'm a, so, I'm, I'm a soldier, but I want to have... Uh, I want to have persuasion. So yeah, normally um, soldiers and persuasion do not go together. So yeah, that's why I wouldn't um, you wouldn't auto level up. Yeah, so there's the um, back base. We will have to go there, but I don't want to do it just a second because there's some interesting things that happen down here. And of course, there are some more um, Volkers. So, I'm going to store a grenade at him. I like doing that in the running, but, um, well, not here, but um, down there I do. And there's kind of a reason why I do it, because, interesting en enough, if you fight against anybody, most of the time, um, like when you fight against somebody, yeah, I do, I do it down here, but, um, when you fight against somebody, everybody else tries to help you. So it's kind of funny to do that. Oh, that's right. This is a cutscene. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. That whistle was kind of weak. Tony Pudu, Rana Nuprata, don't know, Sarcha, it's you a penki. 
Wakana wa mamulira. Kenjun ju bashak. No wa bule mule raji. Joni tun turji chiwi tato. Bola una dicek. Bala mure slimo wanga kun bisjing. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Okay, so if you're fast enough, uh, you can ask this guy for some stuff. Well, about some stuff rather than for some stuff. That pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. <laughs> uh. Sorry, but I don't usually volunteer information to anyone who just asks. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay, so at this point, I probably should have conserved uh, my grenades a little bit more because. Um, this next assassin, well, this next bounty, um, is of Selvin, that assassin you saw in the last vid, and she is not easy to beat. And she is very, oh my god, she is very rude, and, uh, all you have to do is enter the room more than once, and she will try to kill you. And it's this shrimpy jerk again. I mean, God, I've seen 12 year olds taller than him. Mission is taller than him, and she's 14. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Well, I guess he's tiny more than one way. That's the plan. The hell are you looking at? Get lost. Okay, yeah, see, right here you can get away with. If you're fast, you can get away with throwing a grenade at them and then making them angry and then running or something or. I don't know. I just do that on purpose. So, yeah, and here it gets really hot and heavy as far as um, battling. Um, it varies from game to game. Since I'm a soldier, it's not as hard as if I was a scoundrel. Because scoundrels don't fight well. Up! Oh. And here's our first instance of uh, demolition skills. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. And we have something new. We have an energy shield. Um, which I will equip. And I might as well equip Karth with one. So your energy shields there are in the sixth slot with um the medical stuff. And you can equip them and it will protect you from 20 points of electrical or energy damage. And we have something else, armor reinforcement, which you can use at any workbench. Unfortunately, there's not a workbench in here. So, I mean, and let's see, as far as demolition skills, Karth does not have any. I have very little. Sure. So, um, I believe you need a DC of 15 to um, disable and a DC of 20 to recover. So, I, I honestly don't care about demolition that much. I'm going to try to disable it. If not, it's going to blow up in his face and do some damage. So, yeah, there's a failure. And I'll explain what that failure means. It's not a big deal if it's that kind of failure. Now, when it says your skill is too low, then that's a different story. Failure usually means that your role, because whenever you do any kind of task that requires your skills, it requires a role. So if your role isn't high enough, it doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means your role was low. You will get a role between 1 and 20. So his role could have been like a 1. And the DC is 15. So his base and his and a mod could have been lower than 15. Well, lower than, yeah, lower than 15. So usually by the second or third time, it will let you know if you can't do it. Because, you know, 
any, any time there's a failure, your skill, um, the next time you roll, your skill will be higher. So I know you're like, what? You didn't talk about a roll. I'm trying not to because it's in the background mechanics of the game. You won't even notice it most of the time. But it has something to do with, um, because every, um, whenever you attack somebody, it does depend on your stats, but that's, uh, that's also in, um, how should I explain this? Your roll, um, your stats are dependent, well, your attributes are dependent on your roll. And some of your skills may modify that by adding saving throws like fortitude, um, will, and what's the other one? Sorry. Fortitude, will, and reflex. And by the way, I'm going to try to explain this. Fortitude, reflex, and will are all saving throws. Saving throws help um, prevent other, well, other people like um, enemies like Sith or what, whatever else have you from um, doing damage to you. So yeah, your fortitude, wait, your will is based on your wisdom. Your reflex is based on your dexterity and your fortitude is based on your constitution. So if like, say for example, down the line we meet a dark Jedi and he uses, you know, a force power that affects constitution. So your base roll, your mod, like any, and when I say mods, it could be anything like any equipment you have or, you know, anything that's embedded within your outfits. But we'll get to that because I know it's, it's confusing at this point. But um, that's how it works. So yeah, a fortitude of five will be added to your roll if you know there was a check against your constitution as far as somebody using force powers on you. So yeah, that all contributes to saving throws. But I don't want to get too much into that because it's confusing. It's really crazy. So here's another um puzzle. This puzzle is um about this boy and you have to read in between the lines when you read this so it says hey alam how's life in terrace i heard your brother left for tattoo when you become a minor did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company i hope you're still practicing with that blaster i gave you remember i taught you because you might need it terrace isn't like alderaan it can be dangerous there and then it says stay away from those sweet gangs and um Oh, and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Well, Elam's probably dead. So yeah, you have this minor gas mine. Now you want to be careful because if you're not careful, it can poison you. Chances are my character will get poisoned, but, you know. Okay. So this is a password. Um, you can try to enter, we'll try to enter the password. So it asks, what's the name of your pet? The answer is Hyperdrive. And who taught you to fire blaster? Your uncle. And you originally came from Alderaan. So yeah, they identify you as Elam. And you get a Republican mod armor, um, blaster pistol, and 100 credits. Which I could have used a while ago. Okay. Um, so... Okay, they're both upgradable, so I'll just keep that. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure this next room... Oh, we gotta fight Vulkers first. Wonderful. Now, I'm pretty sure either this room or in the next two rooms houses Seven, one of the dangerous assassins on Terrace. And chances are, um... I might be down for the count. So, yeah. There are certain parts of the game that are, well, with this game, there are um, certain parts of the game that um, the difficulty kind of peaks, even if you're at the easiest difficulty. Um, this could be one of those times, depending on what classes you chose, how you upgraded, and all that other stuff. So, yeah, with me, um, I'm not the best Star Wars Knights of Republic player, obviously, because, number one, I play on easy. But, yeah, um... So yeah, this is one of those things. But I'm going to stop the video here. Um, next time we will find the um, apartment that houses Seven. Well, Selvin actually is her name, but I call her Seven. <laughs>
I don't know, seven doesn't sound right. But anyways, um, we'll find the um, apartment that houses Selvin, and unfortunately, we have to kill her. So yeah, this is your boy Beastamon. I will see you later.